today with the Miller Group, and we're going to give you a little bit of an overview on chip seal. This is the emulsion tanker. Uh, this is the lead vehicle in the operation, so he's laying a uh, water-based emulsion to the road, which is basically a, a bed of asphalt emulsion. Coming along behind, we've got the chip seal spreader, and uh, it's spreading a layer of rock chips, half-inch chips in this situation on the road. It's being trailed here by a tandem gravel truck. The gravel truck is being actually towed backwards. This is a little bit different than a paving operation where a truck is actually pushed down the road by the paver. In Ship Seal, we tow the truck backwards, and what that ensures is that we have, have no uh, traffic in the freshly laid balsam. moves fairly quickly. So the application rate we're using today, we're on the top coat. We've done the, the base coat was done a few days ago. The, uh, the top coat we're using 2.6 liters of emulsion per square meter and for the rock chips we're going to be having 14 kilograms of rock chips uh, per square meter. Generally speaking these crews will exceed the uh, specifications to make sure that they get good coverage. Uh, they have a warranty on the product, so uh, obviously uh, they're not interested in coming back. Here's an Amanic rubber tire roller. Coming up fairly quickly behind him, we've got a, what we call a combi roller. The combi roller has a combination of, uh, of a steel drum and, uh, and rubber tires on the rear of it. This operation moves along fairly quickly. So essentially what these rollers do is they align the stone and, uh, and push it down into the emulsion so that it's well seated in the emulsion. They'll make two passes generally as a rule, so they're going to back up now to the end of their strip while we're waiting for some more chips to arrive on site and uh, they'll come down and uh, they'll get over into the left side of the lane and uh, they'll roll that down so they generally speak and they get two passes over it it works out pretty good because by the time they're done uh, with their rolling pattern the uh, the next load of chips will be here so now they've set over in their lane and they're starting to come back
we're just going to have a quick look at the, uh, the two surfaces. Right now we're looking at the base surface, which is a three-quarter inch stone. On the adjacent mat, just to the right of this one here, we have, the, uh, we have a freshly laid mat, which uh, hasn't actually dried in the sun here yet, because we don't have a lot of sun today. This is the half-inch stone, so you may see there's a fairly remarkable difference between the two. And the base stone, and there again is the surface stone. So the surface is a little bit finer, it makes for less road noise, makes for a smoother ride. The, the base stone's a little bit coarser, um, is a little more durable. So uh, they both have their purpose, but I just wanted to take a minute to show you that.